Hi friends, I am Kumar. Welcome to my channel, Ask Matchless Spoon. Today I am going to prepare a new dish which is made of raw papaya. It's a sweet pie, some actually. Okay, this is the first time I am going to put a recipe on the channel. Hope you will enjoy it. Ingredients for this sweet dish, then now I, I have taken around 200 grams of raw papaya cut into small pieces. You can see here uh, around 400 grams of jaggery, I mean, uh, it is liquid now, liquid form, and 400 grams of coconut milk powder. You can see here a pinch of uh, cumin seeds, a pinch of uh, cardamom powder, then a tablespoon of uh, dry coconut cut into small pieces and around uh, six spoons of uh, tablespoon of ghee and ginger powder i kept here banana this actually this is an optional thing this will i will mix it with the coconut milk powder then add it to it last which will give a uh, more taste to the pies now let us start i am going to uh, cook this raw papaya Putting in a pressure cooker by adding some water, we just close it, close it, and we will wait for three to four whistles. By that time, yeah, it will be ready. In the meantime, what we will do, we will just fry the dry coconut or add some. Here, here, okay. Wait. It is added like that. He is getting you. Oh no, I'll add the dry coconut. Yes, it's a dry coconut. Let us fry this dry coconut. Okay, it will give a nice aroma. Dry coconut. This coconut actually we bought from the shop. It's a tender only, but what we made, we just cut it half and put it in there outside in the sun and got got it dry. So it is fresh only actually. We make it fry a little bit. Yeah, it is getting oh, nice aroma is coming because there is ghee. What I will do, I will do that, I will keep some uh, cumin seeds. We will add some cumin seed also into this. So. Yes, this is very, very good. It's nice. Okay, wash the fire and keep it aside. Now uh, we will wait some time for the whistle to come. Okay, we see already come, so just uh, put the fire off. Now we will wait for wait for some time. Yeah, now the pressure has gone. Now let us open it and find out how is it. Yeah, it's good already. Now what I will do, I will remove the water from it. I will strain the water. Okay, just I will strain the water over here. Yes, yeah, that's good. Now strain the water, you will see, it's coming through good. Yes, that's it. Yeah. To do it, remove everything from it. Good. Now I'm going to fry this one for some fire. And put some ghee in it. Yeah, we fry. Okay. Yeah. It will take some time, so we will verify it. Mix it well. Fry it. Yeah, it is getting fried. Yeah, it is getting fried now. Okay. So, 
It will take some time to get it fried, but it's okay. You will wait for some time and it fry. Yeah. We can fry it for around uh, five to ten minutes or fifty minutes maximum. At that time, it will uh, by that time it will be ready. By doing like this, uh, the raw smell will go and it will give a good aroma. That's why, and it will be nice also. If you want to add more ghee, you can. Uh, there's no problem because uh, ghee is a uh, little bit more ghee also. There's no problem. Okay, don't worry. It will give a very good taste. Yeah, it's almost uh, already done. So what I will do, I will add the shagreen. Yeah, yeah. Let it boil for then, and then it will be butter. That's it. Okay. Now let this boil some time. In the meantime, what we will do, we will just mix the coconut milk powder in a bowl. The coconut milk powder, what I'm going to do, I'll mix it in three phase. First phase will be more liquid base. Then second phase will be a little bit thicker. And the third phase will be much, much thicker. The coconut milk powder I am going to put by three phase actually. First phase will be more liquid base. Second phase will be a little bit thicker. Then the third phase will be the much thicker. So this is the liquid base. And when it is ready, we'll add to this. Be ready. There is a little bit of carbon on here. Uh, ginger powder also I have. Uh, the aroma will be very nice. It will be very, very good aroma. Okay. Now the water is almost gone. And this is getting to the mouth. And this is kind of, I'm going to add the three degrees of coconut milk. Salmon, and the first, the first stage is milk powder already added and it is getting thickened now. I am going to add the second phase of uh, coconut milk now. Yeah, it's much thicker now. Okay, very good, very good. I think it's getting better now. Very nice. And let it boil, then we will add the final stage of coconut milk powder. The here the weather is very cloudy, well, there will be rain over here. Night there was rain, there will be more rain going to come, I believe. Yeah. Actually, I was planning to cook it outside, but because of the cloud, I thought it is better to cook inside. Yeah, there's a final stage of coconut milk. What I added here, I add the carbon powder and ginger powder. And uh, you remember that uh, we already fry some dry coconut as well as uh, cumin seed. I am going to add that also. And I will put not much water, a little bit of water, because it will be thicker. It will be thick. Okay. Now remember, uh, there was a banana. What I done? 
I mix it with coconut milk powder and uh, mix it by mix it. Just made cream base. I'm going to add that also. Okay, and just add that one also. Yeah, very nice aroma is coming. Very nice. Yes, that's it. Here you are. Yes. See, now it is much thicker now. Uh, let's see how is this one. Now it's almo almost done. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add this one to this one. Okay. The final stage. This is the final stage. See. Now it's done. Great. Now when you add this one, no need to boil too much again because then the then the coconut to oil uh, that your taste will be coming out now this is fine see very nice thicker one nice yeah yummy it is ready now okay i'm going to put off the fire now see the fire now okay. now it is ready you are raw papaya paisam is ready yeah, it's ready now. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, shift it to the serving bowl. See? Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Yeah. Now, try it at your home. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. Also, like and share it. Thank you very much. I'll be back soon with a new dish. Thank you. Bye-bye.